uh, oh, we have student teams. That's a critical part of this. Uh, uh, nine to eighteen year olds participate on either a newsletter writing team or a theater group. Or in the past, we've had uh, art and dance. We've had video groups. Uh, but the students on these teams, who are usually the children of participants or facilitators, uh, uh, are treated just like uh, everyone else. What you get out of students when you treat them with respect, and if I say on an equal basis, I, I don't mean that you're uh, sacrificing your adult role, but in the sense that they were equal and that they're a team at the conference, just like all the other teams, they get the same building in the conference binder as everyone else. Um, and they're also expected to adhere to the same conference rules. We have another part of the model is we have uh, university undergraduate and graduate students here, professors. Uh, we have principals, superintendents. We have parent teams uh, because part of the model is uh, all stakeholder groups, groups with a stake in the school system, should be represented in a school and we want them represented here. Uh, every day there is there is a choice of eight or nine presentations uh, for one hour in the morning. Um, and the presentations are all made by participants or facilitators. So unlike a traditional conference where if you're lucky you get five minutes at the podium while the presenter is on his or her way out the door to the airport. Here if you, uh, if a presenter strikes a, uh, a chord with you, you go over and we actually use dance cards. You sign the dance card, schedule them to come over to your station and meet with your whole team. Uh, for say an hour in the afternoon or, or whatever. Uh, the big paradigm shift for this conference is shifting the fact, that, the fact that at a traditional conference most of the budget goes to a few high-priced name presenters uh, whereas here uh, we have I think equally talented in some cases more talented people uh, because these are the people in the trenches uh, who know how to relate to the uh, practitioners uh, and we cover their expenses. Uh, we could never afford to cover to pay stipends to the facilitators because we need so many of them. Now, why would talented people come to a conference, people who, and, and this includes staff developers who come here, who might often make 500 to 1000 to or $2,000 a day, why would they come here for expenses only? And, I, and the answer, obviously, is the richness of the environment and what they can get out of it intellectually. Uh, so we try and create that kind of an environment here so that people will want to come for what they can get out of it. We have a showcase on Friday where each team uh, displays what it has accomplished during the week uh, so that everybody gets a chance to see what everybody else at the conference has done.